Hey guys, it's me, Mood Pies. Happy Tube Tuesday. I'm here to tell you a story on why it's important to always keep stuff. I'm not trying to encourage you to be a hoarder, uh, but it always pays off. Um, now, I'm in the process of moving down. We've been in the same house for 16 years. Uh, we're in the process of scaling back, downsizing to a smaller place more where there's lively stuff uh, within Miami. And um, I came across something that put me on a researching mission. And let me show it to you right now because what you're about to see is something that um, any Marianas Trench fan will say is like the holy grail of things that only exist in like a couple rare instances. This is a Ramsey Fiction Cooler Than Me MP3.com CD. And yes, this is an actual one. Um, just a couple of these were ever sold, ever made. And let me tell you a little backstory on why this matters. Now, and I found this while I was looking around for stuff. Now, back in the early days of MP3.com, and we're talking about this was the website. I mean, now it's more like a corporate-run, you know, label-run site. Uh, but before all that, it was actually started by this guy called Michael Robertson, who, right when MP3s were starting to become popular, found a guy that had MP3.com, the domain, and it was actually someone whose initials were MP, and he was the third one. Didn't realize that that MP3 was taken off, so Michael Robertson actually approached him to buy the domain for just ten thousand dollars, and the guy handed it over, and the guy turned it into a company that was worth hundreds of millions of dollars at its peak, and. Now, he turned it into what basically was an early version. This was like 19, late 1990s, early 2000s, around 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002. Uh, this was a site that was a great place for bands to just upload anything they wanted. So garage bands everywhere, they could just put their demos anywhere. It wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't like iTunes or Spotify where you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get listed on there. Uh, it's not Pandora where you have to submit two songs. You know, anybody could upload anything to the site. And of course, there was a lot of garbage there, but there were also some pretty cool things, pretty cool bands that just got started out there. And YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, no, uh, mp3.com, they also had a program called the New Music Army. And that they set that up to get people that were active on the site to promote other bands that weren't getting noticed. And I was, as a financial journalist, I was covering the whole mp3.com story, and as a member of a band that was had been signed to Columbia Records and then let go, a band called Paris by Air, um, I had put my stuff up on there, on there right when the site pretty much opened in 1999, and I had a pretty decent following. Um, but then I was, I would always go out and I'd check out all these other groups, and I said, hey, why don't I become a New Music Army rep and start representing some of these bands? And you know, mp3.com would pay the, the, the reps 5% of the money in addition. So the artists, they would get a small cut for, for each stream every time the song was played, and the, the New Music Army reps would get paid 5% of that, uh, you know, 5% on top of that. Um, so I wound up having about three dozen different artists set up, and I set up a, a website called liquidstereo.com where I would promote these artists. I'd be on the boards promoting it. And one day I came across Ramsey Fiction. And it was I heard it was I heard a song called Shallow, I heard a song called Shiny Like Dirt uh, that just blew me away. I'm like, this can't really be an unsigned band. This has to be, it was like really polished stuff, you know, back, you know, the guitar-driven emo type stuff that was really getting popular at the time. And so I, I sent an email to the band and, 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 and I said to Josh Ramsey and said, hey, um, are you familiar with the New Music Army program? Because all you have to do is just click me and choose me uh, as, as your New Music Army rep and I'll get to work promoting you. And, and I mean, I get 5% of the money. You can always just make yourself your own New Music Army rep and take that 5%. Uh, but it'd be cool if you let me do it. I'd try to promote you beyond your, your reach because as amazing as the Ramsey Fiction music was, it was at the like dead bottom of the pool. It wasn't really getting played a lot on the site. It just wasn't getting discovered. So sure enough, uh, Josh Ramsey did check me off um, as a new, as his new music army rep. And while I can't say I, I was like an immediate success to to, to Ramsey Fiction, um, I think I helped increase the views a little bit. And I bought the MP3.com CD. So yes, so this is a Josh Ramsey's first release, um, and it's. It was actually mp3.com. You didn't actually have to put it out and print it out. They would actually make a copy. So these are the seven tracks. Uh, Prime Time, Shiny Like Dirt, Playing Dead, Shallow, Don't Touch Me, PMS, and Hideous. And PMS was hilarious. It's not politically correct. So I guess it's probably why you don't hear it anymore. Um, and Shallow and uh, and Playing Dead are great songs. Uh, they have like rich... Playing Dead has an amazing rich harmony breakdown towards the about two-thirds of the way of the song. And Shallow to me was my favorite track. Shallow and Shiny Like Dirt. Well, Shallow and uh, Playing... Shallow and Plain Dead are actually available on YouTube, so you can search for it. Uh, maybe, yeah, let's put links. These are links to the two songs that were on this uh, mp3.com CD that are actually out there. The other five are lost in the wild, and everyone's talking about, hey, why can't I get, uh, you know, how, how come no one's posting the rest of the songs? Did this Cooler Than Me EP even exist? Yes, I'm holding it. 
So yes, I was his first digital promoter. Um, and, and just to be fair, um, before I get offered, uh, you know, from someone that says, "Hey, I'll name my firstborn after you. Give me this CD or or introduce me to Josh." I never spoke to him, uh, and I never heard from him. I, I, I to me, I. I had just left the, you know, this was a great time. MP3.com got sold around 2003, 2004 uh, to uh, to one of the five major labels at the time, and they pretty much just wrecked it of, of the whole, you know, garage band style that it was. It was, it was a terrible thing to happen. Uh, but when that happened, I pretty much lost track of all the bands that I was in New Music Army rep for because they all went their own separate ways at that point. Uh, but I was searching, saying, man, whatever happened to Ramsey Fiction? Because it was so good. I really thought when I first heard it, and it wasn't getting any plays, that I thought... Someone just uploaded some obscure, some obscure but really popular Canadian band that I'd never heard of, um, uh, and just tried to pass it off at their own. But no, it was actually Josh Ramsey's uh, account uh, on MP3.com. And so no, I don't have his contact information. We never really communicated beyond me asking, "Hey, make me your rep," and he did. And uh, you know, I just promoted him on the LiquidStereo.com website at the time. But yeah, I was his first digital rep, digital promoter. I I, I can say that. Um, and what's cool is that if you, I mean, Mariana's Trench, if you follow them now, they're huge. I mean, you look at their latest videos, like the one that came out earlier this year, uh, Zeros to Heroes, uh, or Heroes to Zeros, from Heroes to Zeros, but, but you know the song. Uh, it has like 4 million views uh, on, 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 on YouTube. So yeah, he's blown up, but this is the saddest part of the whole story. And this is, if I crack open the case, you'll see that there's no CD in there. Um, and I'm... I think I may have it somewhere. Um, it's cool. I mean, this is actually just some, some people realize that it actually this actually cooler than me thing did exist. That was the cover, and inside you have a picture of him, uh, his sister Sarah, and the other three band members at the time. Um, they were in a laundromat that they did the shoot, and there's a black and white picture uh, that was actually from the Ramsey Fiction MP3 page uh, that is on one of the videos uh, that are on YouTube. Uh, but maybe I'll use this vid photo since no one's really using it. Um, but yeah, this actually exists, but I don't have the actual music. So this very valuable piece of, of Mariana's Trench history uh, that I don't know how many were bought, but I know it was very few because the band never really fully took off at that level, even though they were amazing songs. Um, yeah, and, and just to put it all together, if you don't know Mariana's Trench, uh, Josh Ramsey has actually written songs for a lot of other people, and probably his biggest hit, as you probably know all too well of you around a couple years ago, uh, Carly, J., uh, uh, Carly Rae Jepsen's uh, Call Me Maybe. Yeah, he wrote that. So you can thank him for that. But it's amazing stuff. Uh, his stuff is a little heavier than that. Uh, a lot of stuff like like Fallout Boy. It's like very Fallout Boy-ish, uh, but definitely its own style. And and Josh, it, it's uh, obviously uh, you know I'm not asking you to contact me or anything because you have your own stuff. And you're never going to see this video. Uh, but it was just a pleasure to be like his first digital promoter. And I wouldn't have realized it if I didn't dig through what I had. So feel free to go through all your old stuff. You never know what's actually worth something. Um, just like high school yearbooks that are actually have people that became famous, that there's value in that yearbook. Uh, there's value in stuff in everything that you do. So, yeah, this is cool. Um, and go check out, go check out, sorry, go check out uh, Mariana's Trench Music. And especially if you can find those two tracks of, of Ramsey Fiction, do it. If I find the CD, maybe I'll find a way to upload them, um, the other five tracks, because stuff like Shiny Like Dirt was awesome and PMS was hilarious and, and great well-produced stuff. Later on, I found out that Josh himself, uh, you know, his parents or, you know, his father owned a recording studio. His mom was a vocal coach, so they had like ACDC and Aerosmith uh, come in, uh, you know, record at the house and, and learn it and stuff. So he had, grew up among stars, so he had a very, uh, you know, advantageous environment that fostered the singing. Uh, but then he had some rough spots, uh, you know, had a heroin addiction, a bout with depression. Uh, but amazing comeback, and, and I'm just, it was just, I guess it's an honor now. To, I think back, and I mean, I, I'm going to have to look through all these 36 other bands that I was the New Music Army rep, and there may be some other people that really broke out in bands that were completely different than what they started out as. Um, so yeah, save everything you have, because you never know when it's going to mean something, or be worth something. And always keep your CDs in your cases, even in this digital age where CDs are unknown care for. This is Moon Pies uh, Tube Tuesday brought to you by NetStories.com and I'll see you next week. Bye.